I'm going to give CT scan PNS of two different newborn babies, both of them having same symptoms of respiratory distress from birth for the past two to three days, more while feeding, especially with some skin color changes while feeding. I have already given the hint of CT PNS and both of them had normal antenatal scans done periodically and both of them delivered pervaginally with near normal Apgar score in one in five minutes. Please see the images again and give the findings and the diagnosis. Remember that the symptoms are same but the CT findings and the diagnosis are different. If you want more time, please pass the images and then proceed. Now I am going to give you the findings and the diagnosis. Before describing the abnormal CT findings, it is important to know about the CT anatomy morphology of the PNS of the normal newborn babies to give the visual memory. Please see the normal neonatal CT PNS anatomy, especially maxillary space marked as MS, nasal septum, especially the omer marked as V, anterior nasal space covered by pyriform aperture marked as PA and the posterior nasal space filled with air filled, which is called as posterior coiona marked as PC. With the visual memory of the normal CT PNS of the newborn, the diagnosis is simple and straightforward. The first one shows significant narrowing of the anterior nasal process with overgrowth and narrowing of the anterior pyriform aperture more on the right side. The posterior coiona appears patent with no narrowing. The omer appears normal. The diagnosis is congenital pyriform aperture stenosis bilaterally, more severe on the right. Now we will go to the second one which shows significant narrowing of the posterior nasal coiona with highly thickened omer. The obstruction is pronounced more on the left side with obstructed fluid level. The anterior nasal process of the maxilla appears patent with no overgrowth here and there is no narrowing of the anterior pyriform aperture. Bony overgrowth looks more pronounced than the membranous part if compared with the CT PNS morphology normal newborn baby you have seen. Now we will go for the discussion. Differential diagnosis of the neonatal nasal obstruction is the most common one is the isolated one is the posterior coronal atresia. More of them being bony atresia which could be 80 to 90 percent. Next common one is isolated one is congenital pyriform aperture stenosis. Remember, bilateral stenosis will be manifested in neonatal age, but the unilateral atresia or stenosis might delay the diagnosis up to young adulthood age. Be aware of this fact. Congenital nasal obstruction may be coexistent with some cardiovascular and GIT anomalies. We can see ASD or VSD or any aspiration pneumonitis and some GI malrotation have to be ruled out before the surgical correction of these uh, diseases. Few syndromes like Charge syndrome, Treacher Collins syndrome, Cruzon syndrome and Upper syndrome might be thought of when you see these cases. Other causes of neonatal or infantile nasal obstruction could be due to nasal cephalocele, dermoid or epidermoid cyst, nasal glioma and mucosal and etc. Most of the sporadic isolated bilateral coronal atresia or congenital pyriform aperture stenosis might be missed antenatally and presented as neonatal emergency. Even though this is rare, the incidence is between 1 is to 5000 or more. Okay, that's end of the session. Please give your valuable comments and share if you like. Thank you very much.